we're going to buy here, and that starts with coming 851 million dollars. That's the two gigawatts. And based on the analysis we've done over and over again, it turns out about one gigawatt that's in solar in this plant that we have yields between 400 million to 500 million dollars annually back to rate payers. Now, you showed you a map that said it needs seven gigawatts. The math becomes pretty interesting. You realize that the magnitude of the resources we have. This past year, in fact, this, uh, what I do, just so you understand, what I would do is I calculate solar potential. I bought the real estate in the industry or wherever, or the house. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory um, did a rather novel thing, and they uh, calculated the solar potential similar to what you have in yours of the entire state, of all the state. And they separated between rural and urban. And in Georgia, um, they extrapolate on the moment on the numbers that occurred. Um, Georgia produces, has the ability, solar potential, to produce enough electricity that, and I could give it to you in kilowatt hours, gigawatt hours, but it makes more sense to be like this, that the barrel of oil equivalents. I understand the barrel of oil. It's real simple to me. Every year, the solar equivalent to 3.3 billion barrels of oil in the state every year. And now we have a company, Georgia Power, telling us you can't get it. Now there's just something about that in the territory of Wright Tech that just rankled my soul. And I wasn't gonna have it, or nor was Shane. We all understood this. That goes back to this petition we saw. That's when we said it's time to call their hand in front of the public service commission. We don't think they have the legal basis upon which tell us as rate payers that with a natural resource of that magnitude, that because of the 1973 law, they can deny us the ability to do that. Now how this is going to shake out, I don't know. But we had to get to legal, I won't call it theories or whatever. We had to find a way to breach it. In other words, you contracted with us as rate payers to do what's in our best interest. And I think that we now can agree that solar is in our best interest. And he came back out and said, I'm not going to do it. Well, that's fine. You know, should we bid out your monopoly? Should we just peel out the technology? What do we do? So we suggested that we peel out the technology, put it in a separate corporation with all the rights they have so that we could access all the bond money, we could, we could avail ourselves of the grid and get it to, to, the, to the guys that can't afford, particularly the people that can't afford it put in these uh, solar systems. Because what they'll get out of these rate reduction funds, and, and, and again, understand this is above my pay grade. I know what I'd like to see, but my job is just to deliver the framework and deliver the mechanism by which we generate the funds. What does legislature and the Public Service Commission do with it? I have no idea. But what I would like to see happen is that based upon the kilowatt hours that the person uses it, by the end of each year, that 4.7 cents or some derivative thereof comes back in December, just like a mutual company, which is the foundation of what we've done. It's a, it's a mutual company. So we, what we've done in Avaya is we've taken well-proven technology, a well-known financial mechanism, and in a well-proven corporate structure, but we've blended it a little differently. And we've taken the right, which is a very valuable asset, rights to solar technology dropped in the top. And we've gone after one thing, utility scale solar. This has nothing to do with a person that wants to own their own solar system and put on their house. Have that business has a meter. It wants to put solar in and offsets electric bill, have that. All we're saying is that for the utility scale, when we talk, we're looking at gigawatt size, there needs to be a single corporation that helps control it. And if people want to do power purchase agreements in their building or, or with their home or with their business, that's their business. We don't see a problem. I can say I'll conclude with this is that um, hopefully within 10 days, something we started some time ago was we saw a lot of problems within the way that the power was trying to apply the territorial rights act. And there's, um, and we set about finding ways that we could 
we're not circumventing them. It's not what we're doing. But what we're doing on this commercial application is we're using what is our legal right in the financial mechanism to build a mega block. And the way it stands right now, we're just about finished. If somebody wants to lease solar, we're leasing a one megawatt solar system. And George Power jumped up and down and said no. And we got finished with them. They said, okay. 